I did a video on how to fix car door glass that came off the track, is broken, or came unglued. And all the information that I gave you is accurate, but I wanted to update you on the repair that I did. It did not hold. So I've done a lot of research. I wanted to give you an update and show you how that needs to be done. Let's do it! This glass is loose in here. I just have it temporarily set in. But what I wanted to note is before you take the glass out, you want to mark the location of these tabs. There and there. And do the same thing on the other side. The other thing you want to do is mark where your bolts are. And so I'm just going to outline the bolt. So I can put that back exactly where it was. And do the same thing on the other side. And actually I've already marked this one. So I can put it right back in place where it came from. Now I'm going to pull the glass out. To get it out, I'm going to tip the front down. That takes it out of the track. And I can pull it out. Next thing I'm going to do is take these clips out. You just pull this bolt out, and I've got it marked. The back end, they just fit on the end of this track. The back end is locked in place. But the front end moves back and forth. So that's why it's important to mark where that bolt goes, so you get them back right where they came from. Now the other thing you want to remember is this is offset. And you want to make sure that you remember this is on the inside of the window. It goes this way. It's oriented this way. Critically important that you glue that on just like that. Then the other side comes off exactly the same. And set that bolt aside. Here's our other piece. And it's offset to the inside exactly like the other one. And I just want to point out, you can see where I marked that bolt, the outside of the washer, and that's just a single hole. It can only go in one place, but on the front one, you can see it slides to adjust. So since we're going to glue it, it's very important that we get that set right where it was. Now we're ready to go over and put the clips on the glass. Now I went to a window glass company and this information all came from them, a car window glass company. He said the first thing you want to do is take these clips and sand this side, sand this side just a little bit. You don't want to sand out the grooves, but just to take any residue off of there. And then the bottom you want to sand especially in these corners all the way across. If you have a standing belt sender, that's even better. But it's just to rough this up so you get good contact with the adhesive. Good, that's roughed up good. Now I'll go ahead and do the other one, same thing. Now when I put that adhesive in here, it's going to ooze out. So I want to rough up these edges too just so I have the best adhesion I can possibly get. I'll do the end also. Now the other thing I want to mention to you is you can go online and buy a used window, used glass, all set up for about 60 bucks, depending on your vehicle again, but that might be another consideration. Okay, before we go any further, I didn't show this, but I went ahead and scraped the old glue off both sides. You can see this glass is clear, and I also did the bottom. The bottom does a lot of holding, 
so it's important to get that. I did that on both sides. And then what I did after I scraped that off both sides, I took some rubbing alcohol and I wiped all the, any grease or anything that could be on there off. You want to be careful not to remove your marks for the glass. Also don't forget to do the bottom. And I'm going to wipe these down, the inside of those tracks too. All right, got our glass clean, alcohol rubbed off, got our clips clean, and we're all set to go. Now here's the key. The last time I did this, I used 100% silicone, and that didn't work. But I can't say it won't work because I left the old glue on there and just re-glued these on. I didn't clean them or anything. I just caulked that, stuck them on, and it didn't work. But the window company that I went to, the auto glass place, sold me this. And he said this is made for that. And this is what I needed. It's 20 bucks. And he gave me all the instructions on how to do it. It has a shelf life of a few months. The other thing I did was called 3M and talked to a technician there. They have a product called 3M Channel Bond Adhesive. That's about 40 bucks. This was $20. Of course, I only need a drop of it, but we'll go ahead and put it on and let it set up overnight. The other thing that you want to do is make sure, and the reason I took the glass out, I said to the guy, can't I just leave this in? Put some, some of this on top and roll up the window. And he said, these things can get crooked on there. And he said, you want to put this on and get it straight. And if you have to, take some tape and tape them in place so they're on nice and straight. So I've got some tape to do that if I need to. And again, make sure you put these on just the way you took them off. This needs to go on this way to the inside. If you put it on this way, it's not going to line up in the track. And he said you get one shot at this. So you want to make sure you get it right. I even labeled this. This was the front clip. Now all I need to do is trim the top that, uh, of this, just like caulk. and pull the cap off the back and put it in a regular caulk gun. See it has a plastic plunger on the back. This is just to keep it sealed up so it doesn't dry out, extend the shelf life. But you gotta bust that little seal there. And just load it in the caulk gun. And we'll go ahead and load these up. And he said, just do the channel. You don't need to do the glass. That's probably more than enough there. Don't forget, get it oriented right. I've got my marks here. And I'm just going to press it on right where it needs to be. And you want to make sure you get it straight. And I can look down the glass, and it looks like it portioned it just right. Maybe that's what those grooves are for. That's strong stuff. I can smell it. All right, I'll do the other one. And I got my marks here. Put it in the center of the glass. Oozing out. Good. All right, it's the next day. And I actually let it sit for about 24 hours. Not for any particular reason, but you only need to leave it set overnight with that product. And it's stout stuff. I can feel it's kind of rubbery stuff, but it's uh, I don't think this thing's going anywhere, ever. So let's go ahead and put it back in the car. And of course, this is real easy. All I have to do is slide it in, put the bolts in, throw the panel back on, and we're done. Let's do it. And we'll get this bottom rail lined up. Just get that centered in the hole there and centered in the hole here. 
And you can see because we marked everything, the glass and the bottom rail, everything lines up just the way we took it out. Now we just put our bolts back in. Do the back one first because it's fixed. Just in case you're off, you know, 16th of an inch or something. And you can put the front one in. Snug these down. I'm going to go ahead and test the window just to make sure everything's working right before I put the panel back on. And I like to take it up real slow just in case something's in the way or whatever. Good. Beautiful. So we'll go ahead and put the panel back on. And now you'll know the products to use and how to make a proper repair to a car door window that's come unglued. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.